<clears throat> hey guys, so <clears throat> come in here straight throw chakra action. Somebody need to talk, say something. Somebody need to say something to you, or you need to say something to somebody. Shit. I was trying to get on some lip gloss so we get into a dry lip video. <laughs> hey Pisces. I'm through with it, love. I'm through with it, through with it, love. I'm finally giving it up. You through love. I'm feeling that. I was just thinking to myself, like, <laughs> my list is to love people who love me, work on my finances, um, help grow, grow, help my people grow, and then find me a good man. But I noticed that love used to be at the top of my list. Now it's on the fucking bottom. <laughs> it's love on the bottom of your list, Pisces. Some of you feeling like y'all feel the love. Some of y'all just put it off for later. That ain't gonna be everybody, but you know that's un that's unnormal. That's unusual for Pisces. Pisces love love. It didn't fuck us over too many times. <laughs> I ain't giving up, but I'm gonna put it on the back burner. <laughs> God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. I'm getting my candle lit. I had to go to the gas station. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the sign of Pisces. Look at that. It ain't doing it no more. This side was just going higher. Yeah. I just feel like somebody is trying to outshine you, Pisces, but it's not working out. It's not working out. That's what somebody, somebody's trying to outshine you, but your flame was much higher, like twice their size. That's for somebody. Okay, so we got justice on the bottom, Pisces. Justice could be being served here. Yep, some type of justice. Or you could be getting justice for your own self. But I do feel like there's some just some type of justice taking place, some type of balance and act happening where something's being put down in order to have a victory. Somebody could be bringing, putting down burdens to bring you justice and a victory. King of Wands could be a Leo, it could be any fire sign, but I usually put that with Leo, but it still is any fire sign. Yeah, the Emperor, here he is, still trying to get a spot at the table, huh? Judgment. Mm. Is the Emperor under judgment? Clean the cups. There you go. Is the emperor under judgment? Yeah. Ten of cups. Mm. But he's still feeling like ten of cups. Something, something with the wheel. Mm. He's saying it ain't done yet. That's three major arcana. King of Pentacles. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we got this emperor up here. Aries energy. I don't know if that's two different people. Or is this what, what energy this is? Ace of Cups. I mean, we got the yeah, we got the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Sun. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody trying to stuff. This might be two people here. Somebody trying to stand their ground here towards the end. Somebody trying to a King of Pentacles trying to stand up to an Emperor. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting to bug. But we got this Queen of Cups right over in this last row. <laughs> we got this queen of cups and this king of pentacles okay so i feel like somebody is dealing with a king of pentacles i hear taurus virgo capricorn boom then in the middle we got judgment with the wheel somebody's either under judgment or somebody's changing their mind here or making a final decision that they want to have another have another chance or have another go around or spin it back around. Or somebody has gotten judgment call and the wheel is spinning in the opposite person's favor. So but the emperor sees all of them. this emperor energy sees um ten of cups. Okay. I heard energetic. So this could be somebody's energetic level here, filling the Ten of Cups or indulging in the Ten of Cups energetically here. 
something like that. We're about to clarify, though. But the first card is the Emperor, then Judgment, then the Queen of Cups. So it's like, it's this Emperor here wanting to make some type of judgment call when it comes to you. Because they feel like Ten of Cups, you make them emotionally fulfilled. And um, they want another chance. But I do feel like this Emperor, if he's not an Aries, then he is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or this emperor is somebody completely different. That's telling this king of pentacles to shit or get up off the pot. To piss or get up off the pot. I don't know. We're going to see them. Let's see. God, universe, angels, spirit, guys, and ancestors. These are my new cards, y'all. I love them. Love, love, love. God, universe, angels, spirit, guys, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and guys sight messages for the sign of Pisces. Tell us what's going on with this emperor. Why is this emperor here for the sign of Pisces and the, and the Pisces read? What does Pisces need to know about this emperor here? And this is emperor sitting here trying to still get a spot at the table from last week, huh? But if they come in reverse, yeah. Bounders, if they don't come in reverse, I'm putting them back and shuffling them up, but I will speak on it. And boundaries in reverse says to uh, love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy. Boundaries reverse here. This, somebody's dealing with uh, boundaries or not respecting boundaries or here we go. The emperor. Clarify this emperor for Pisces. Pisces, the emperor could even be you bossing up, making a judgment call. You're masculine. Jumping up, taking up, making a judgment call for yourself, for you. Okay, yeah, sorcerer. Because we got right here, this card does say you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Which I do feel that is the truth, the, the case. But I also feel sorcerer, it's a sorceress. But a sorcerer, they also are energy vampires. They take your energy, they take your time, they drain you. Okay? And this says uh, solace, bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as lake, river, or the ocean, or recharge your batteries. Yeah. But see, I feel like this emperor here, whoever this is, sorcerer. I feel like he wants to sorcerer. Body of water is you, Pisces. I feel like this body of water is you. I feel like this emperor really... Um, I feel like you're water. You're the water, right? I feel like you're the body of water that recharges the battery of this emperor. Okay? That's why they feel like an energy vampire. Or they are acting like an energy uh, vampire here. Yeah. But I do feel like, yeah, you did. I feel like you gave this person a lot of love. Because that's what Pisces do. They love unconditionally. So the love was different. It said infinite supply. I feel like you supplied them emotionally with everything they needed. And y'all do have a pet like Ten of Cups. You supplied them emotionally. And that's what they need. Emotional. The love that you give them. They want to sort. They want to just like. I don't know if they want to like. They want to manifest it for themselves. Or they want to suck you. Drive your love. Or what the fuck this person want to do. But independent. They see you independent. And you focus. And you blossoming. And you become purified. But I do feel like that this person. Um, is under judgment. For the way that they had, were, were going about it. Because I do feel like they see you as an emotional fulfillment, but they, they were, instead of saying, hey, let's have an equal give and take, they were coming to take, 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 which is being an energy vampire. So they take, take, take because your love purified them. It energized them. It charged them. Okay? So, but I feel like because they come and took energy and didn't give anything back or they just took, took, took because you gave them emotional fulfillment, that put them under judgment here. Because you can't just take, take, take. It puts it in balance. You have to have an equal give and take. That's why this Wheel of Fortune is down here saying this person want to come back around. Because it must be their turn to give, give, give. And you take, take, take. And not necessarily take, take, take. But you receive some stuff. Because you've been given enough. And in order for this person to have any kind of balance to it all, they're going to need to come back and give some shit to you. Because it's not balanced. It has to be an equal give and take. So they got to start beginning to give half the shit that you gave to them. Shit. Yeah. Be strong in reverse. 
You are stronger than you think you are. And the strength assures a happy outcome. We're not going to keep that. I feel like somebody's lacking strength and courage here to come here and say what they need to say. Say what you need to say. Yep, they need to say that you make them happy emotionally. And they need to do what it takes in order to... Maybe they used to take it. You know, maybe that's what they were taught, that they're just supposed to take what they needed. Oh, no, I just heard a baby crying. They just... see. No, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> boundaries reverse and start delegating. <sighs> I'm not going. I don't know. We ain't gonna worry about it. Like I said, I'm putting the back. I'll speak on them, but I ain't speaking on that one. Boundaries reverse. Somebody's lacking boundaries. Somebody's lacking courage. Somebody's lacking standing up or something like that. Here, why do we need to clarify? On what is this judgment clarification? God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What do we need to know about this judgment call from Pisces? unconditional love like i said didn't i just say that i can't make this shit up you gave them unconditional love that's what that was the ten of cups the emperor feels the unconditional love that he received from you love yourself others in every situation no matter what the outward appearances may be yes even when this person was acting like a dick or not ret ret uh, ret giving back what you was giving to them you still provided unconditional love until you didn't Okay, they see you as a golden opportunity and prosperity and a bright future. The fuck? One more on this judgment. And they under judgment because you gave unconditional love and they didn't give shit. But the, the, all they did was take. Knowing that you was fulfilling them in some type of way. Let's clarify judgment. Now judgment, I feel like they done got cut their ass out. Yep. Blossoming true love. They they growing on you. You grew on them or something like that. Because now we got blossoming. True love is blossoming here. Now they now that you didn't give them unconditional love, they know what love is. Now that they got to have that for themselves. But first they had to go under judgment because you gave them unconditional love and they didn't give shit back. Okay? And look at that. Look at all the energy you have, Pisces. Bitch. The fuck? Yeah, I gave you unconditional love because I knew I could heal myself, okay? It wouldn't be easy, and I didn't think that that would be the outcome, but, you know, I thought you was going to give me the love back that I gave you, but now here I am trying to get this love all back. Queen of Cups, clarify. She's the unconditional love provider. <laughs> That's us, Spices. Yeah, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. See that? It, I cannot make this shit up, Pisces. A motherfucker coming? Yep, that's cool. But you, what are you doing? What are you bringing? Because we're not. I'm not giving shit. I'm not even giving a hello, bitch. Now, it just depends on what all did I give you? How did you treat it? I'm just saying. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So right now, you should be in the energy of receptivity, receiving, Let all, allowing things to come to you. You shouldn't be going out and getting nothing. Anything that's get, being given to you at this time should be just flowing in easily. Okay, because you did your share. When judgment came out, you did all your share of giving. Now it's time for somebody to give to you. And that's what judgment is saying. Like, no, nah, when time came, unconditional love was there, true love was there, something's blossoming, but now somebody got to give something back if they want this Ten of Cups here. One more on this Queen of Cups. One more for the Queen of Cups, clarify. Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. And notice that the King of Pentacles is right under you, the King of Earth. Okay, so somebody wants to give to you. This King of Pentacles wants to now give you something. But I feel like he want to make you like a Queen of Pentacles. He want to give you emotional fulfillment. He want to give you the happiness that you give him. Inner wisdom, fertility, yep, something new. Expect a miracle. Told you, can't make this up. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Boundaries. Yeah, boundaries. Leap of faith and a golden opportunity. Easy does it. Somebody wants to leap, take a leap of faith here. Because they see you as a golden opportunity. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your own time and energy. Okay. So what I'm getting to is that this emperor, somebody is becoming somebody's energy vampire in him. That's what that is. And you replenish him. But you are tired probably, if that's the case, and you replenishing a motherfucker that's going to get drained by somebody else, you ain't did that long. That shit done. 
That's why we're here. If that's for somebody. Okay, so now we on this whatever they did. We at this point to where now it's their turn to give to you. You receiving, but you're not gonna keep giving. Stop worrying, everything is going to be fine. Bright future. So now you put your boundaries up and you possibly worried about it. If you're still gonna get emotional fulfillment. Well you are. So don't worry about it. Because a motherfucker want to love you that much more the more that you respect yourself and say no i'm not going for that shit the the wheel clarify the wheel clarify the wheel why is the wheel here for pisces so what does pisces need to know about the wheel easy does it an inner goddess Awaken the goddess within you through dead self-care and appreciating your divinity. Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Yeah. So your inner goddess is awakened. And you start to, to love yourself. Tell this person, you know what? I'm not dealing with this. I'm not taking this. I'm done with it. So you was prepared to end it. Okay? But this person is not wanting to let that happen. Because they want prosperity. They want to equal give and take. They want to purify. They want to end it. It's to begin it. Okay? And I feel like they're learning a lot now. Let's get to this king of pentacles. What's, this, what's up with this king of pentacles here? It's infinite supply. He ready to infinite supply you like you infinite supplied him. Cycles and rhythms. Yep. Past life. Undying love and compassion. This person got undying love and compassion for you. Whoever this king of pentacles is. It says, honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So that's what he's doing. He's honoring that his body and his emotions love you. They have emotional fulfillment with you. You are supplied for today and all your tomorrows. And they want to supply you for all your todays and all your tomorrows. Sounds good, don't it? People have been saying that forever. Let me get two cards on the action this King of Pentacles plans to take before we jump into the other clarifier. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm throwing in something real quick extra. What action, if any, does this King of Pentacles plan on taking? We're in the month of April. We give him this month. During the month of April, what actions does this King of Pentacles plan on taking towards my Pisces? God, universe agents and spirit guides during the month of April. What actions does the King of Pentacles plan on taking towards my Pisces? Happy, happy. <laughs> this is what they said. Because it ain't what? No place like home. His heart, the, and the heart wants what the heart wants, baby. So you better expect something from this King of Pentacles. Yes, because it's unfinished business. And it's time for you to take a nap. Because guess what? It's a change in the wind. And luck is on your side. Yep. All that glitter. If they see you as glittering and then that yin came, the yang came out. There's the masculine energy. He ready to take his part. He ready to build. Be ready to take the leap of faith with the come to the edge card this month in April. That's what they say. That's what they said. But let's get on to the rest of it. So I'm going to pull out six cards, guys. You bless angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. And I'm just going to lay them on top of the six cards we already have. Please allow them to, to uh, clarify the cards underneath them to the best of their ability. Uh, to tell the story of clarifications that we need to see for the sign of Pisces. Thank you. What do we have for the Pisces? Messages, messages for the Pisces. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have for Pisces? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Regeneration. <clears throat> Something has died out, but, it, but I feel like it's going to be rebirth here because it's, it's between soulmates. <clears throat> but here we go. All that glitters. <laughs> Yang. Y'all see me shuffle these cards up, right? Y'all see me shuffle them. I cannot make this shit up. <clears throat> I cannot make this shit up. The higher power done stepped in. 
I can't make this shit up. The emperor sees you as all that gold, all that glitters, and he ready to take that mask off. Okay? Yang. That's the emperor energy. The masculine to the feminine. Okay? Why? Because there is no place like home, and it landed right on the queen of cups. You are home. Home is where the heart is. You. The king of cups. The king of pentacles is realizing that. Home is where the heart is, and it's time to go. Time to go to this queen of cups. There is a change in the wind here. Why? Because somebody has found ten of cups emotional fulfillment. Um, unconditional love. Something that they didn't know exists. Poised. That's when they say higher power on the bottom. I feel like God has stepped in to kill it all. To die it down. To ch Yes. To put a change in the wind. To put a change in the energies. So now somebody's saying, okay, it's time to go. Time to go. Because there's no place like home. I like that. Okay, so let's give you some advice. God, universe, angels, spirit, guys, and ancestors. Please give us clear and concise messages for the sign of Pisces. What messages do we have for the sign of Pisces? Messages for Pisces. Just a second, y'all. Have I just been sitting here recording like a full gangster? I'm not a gangster, I promise, but I gotta be equipped, y'all. Keep yourself protected at all times. Your energy, your life, everything. You gotta keep it protected. Smoking this nasty ass cigarette. I don't even like to do shit like that on my channel because I feel like it's setting a bad example. It is. Y'all grown, right? You all, you gotta be 18 to, to watch this, but you gotta get rid of these. I had to go out there and get my dumpsters. God, universe, spirit gods and ancestors. What advice for Pisces, please? Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. What advice do we have for my Pisces regarding this spread? Two 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 on the clock. Two 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 on the clock. What is twos? Twos is the empress, ain't it? Ain't the empress a two? What's this number? No, the empress is not. The high priestess is a two. So use your intuition. Your intuition. Look at that. That's there's the high priestess right there. Your advice is to use your intuition. <clears throat> Excuse me. Healing energy flows through you. You are a wise leader. Others are beckoning for you. You are beckoning for other, a beacon for others. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So all of these is about healing and releasing and leading. What else? I feel like somebody wants to uh, do this with you, but your advice is to follow your intuition. Purge out whatever don't serve you, whatever hurts you. Stay focused, okay? The answers you are looking for within yourself. This could be for the cross watcher too, hell. But somebody, I feel like this is somebody surrendering to the journey. So I feel like your intuition, Pisces, mainly for you, your intuition will help you get to where you need to go through this journey. It will help you navigate. Um, courtship on the top of this deck. I feel like something new could be coming in as well as something old. But I feel like it's up to you to navigate intuitively via your intuition to see which way you need to go. Okay? So that's what I got for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in your next video. Namaste.